everybody, welcome to the Trey Corner. Those joining us for the very first time, welcome you welcome. How's it going? Hi y'all, we're in my bathroom. Hope you're all doing well. I'm just gonna hang out together. I wanna wax a little bit my... I haven't waxed in a while because like, I've just let myself <laughs> go. Oh, so let's vlog. Have I ever, by the way, shown you guys my my waxing situation? What I used to wax. <laughs> oh, and also this is like this because I'm planning on washing my hair a little bit later. Right now, I'm treating them with peppermint um, oil. I do this thing where I put Vicks in on my hair. I apply like all in like all over my head. And then I put them in a plastic bag and then afterwards I do shampoo. I don't know why that works very nicely for my hair, but it really works nicely for my hair. Besides, I've been washing my head in like, I did my hair like the 10th of December, somewhere there, just before then or just after that. Ugh. So hell, it's been, it's been a good four to eight weeks. You know that i haven't washed my hair so now i like to do all of that because really there's a long time that passes before i wash my hair especially if it's like braided under my wigs it just takes a while but yeah so i treat it, that's how i treat it before i put it in like shampoo and all of that good stuff so today's one of those days and i'm getting my hair done and it's been a while because i've been wigs the whole time and it's hot so i want to do something like that very cool that i can like get my hair to just breathe a little bit for a while without the weeks probably be like four weeks before i get tired and then go back two weeks but it's a good uh breather breather for my hair okay so let's go talk about my waxing situation um i use the mendy's wax microwavable um hot wax um for legs and body with moisture shea butter i get this usually from clicks and it usually costs me like a hundred and ten dollars there's no price on here but uh, you know in this usually lasts me a good month two months so every second month I buy, or every third month I buy, if I can third month I buy myself one. I bought this one last year, November, because it comes out like, actually this is the box. Um, and that's what it looks like. So it's almost done as the last piece that's left that can do like, in two weeks time when I have to wax again, I'll, I'll finish this one. And then I'll go get myself another one. So that's basically how that goes. And then I have this wax strips that I bought. I bought them. I bought this whole roll of Planet Nails like a long, long time ago. I mean, literally a long, long time ago. I sanitize it because you can see the dust is on there. Um, I, I take off the straps and I sanitize the, the straps separately, and um, just to make sure I don't get dust all over myself or give myself infections or anything like that. So there's a lot happening in my sink right now. Um, yeah. So it's just for waxing. I usually wax my face, wax my underarm. I feel like I'm really emotionally eating. A lot this past few days just because just you know there's nothing said about um being in the grieving process and you having to deal with your own emotions <laughs> around people and since i'm back at work it literally feels like that like i literally I just have to watch my emotions around people for some reason it's just weird and also isn't it weird that when you're in this process you're in the list of people and Sometimes you just feel like I need to cry in the midst of people. Uh. Oh yeah, that's basically what I do. I'm already waxing. So it's coming off. I don't know how much of this you can already see, but it's coming off. I do this all the time, guys. Like, I don't know. My face has been really good with it. I've not had any breakouts at all. I've been doing this for a long time. And it just works very nicely for my skin. Like instead of like shaving or plucking with a tweezer, but I will end up plucking my eyebrows. I need to pluck those as well. I need to get this together because I didn't apply anything on my face. And my face is normally very dry, so I need to get my life together and get on with this so I can moisturize my face. Because you can see how literally dry my face is on a normal basis. This is just me after washing it with just normal water and not like oils or anything or not like soap. But my face is very dry, so I need to like. Um, get it back together so I can like moisturize it. I'm probably gonna put a mask on as well. And also the other thing is, is because of all the steam that we've been doing because of all this COVID thing, you know, being back at work, you have to come home and steam and all of that. Also like been really drying out my skin and I tried to drink a lot of water 
Um, but yeah, I have to try and hydrate my skin as much as possible. And I want to get the question that isn't it painful? I'm so used to it, it's not even. This is very soothing for me. I can handle the pain. I have a very good threshold for pain when it comes to stuff like this. Hence, tattoos and piercings. Oil. I know most people going with aloe vera. I don't have aloe vera at the moment, but you can go in with aloe vera um, gel if you need to. And I'll go in with this one because it's the only thing I've learned that has really been good to my face. It's almost just like a repairing tissue thing, and also it takes off all these extra pieces that I probably like have left here there you know in my face and stuff like that but i'm gonna apply a generous amount of it on my skin and then i'm gonna go in with my cup blade in my first i know you're like yeah but don't your hair grow back a lot no it doesn't honestly it doesn't um i've been doing this for six months now where i usually i would like wax and then wait a week and then go in with a blade but then i realized that my skin my skin does better um, when I shave it right when I wax it it is just mostly in the outer areas of my face and just make sure some of the areas are nicely cleaned up because I have a very hairy face and because of all these makeup videos that I make I want a nice clean like smooth canvas that has helped and also that has helped with like minimal like I get minimal breakouts anyway but <sighs> this is me good to my skin I've not had any reaction so I'm going to go try and do the same thing. I'm just letting you know this is my routine, so don't hate on it. Yeah, I'm using very old school. I know people use the the, the, the eyebrow shaving manikis, but yeah, I'm using this waniki. And I like to use the oil because it doesn't, dry. my skin is already dry, so when I shave, it doesn't like. Um, hurt my skin like it would it doesn't tear my skin as much as shaft my skin not the right word like it would if my if I didn't have oil on my face you guys seen I ran out of shampoo <sighs> that's what I did for not washing my, my head on a regular but anyway I used a bit of this liquid soap to just add a bit more to the shampoo that I used just being honest like there's no point in lying about it but anyway and then I put it back in the plastic my wash day is like my hair wash day is a whole routine it's not just put my hair under the shower and that's it you know I must apply a little bit of like comfort like oils especially Vicks 
and then I put it in the hair and then I put shampoo and I put it back in the thing and then only do I go into the shower and then wash my head I'm planning on waxing my face I'm not waxing I'm planning on um, putting a mask on the sonic here but I first want to because I'm going to go into the shower and like take a shower I first want to shower wash my head then I come back and then I put some more oil and then mask on my face and then some moisturizer um this really helps with my my skin it just keeps it nice and moist. like it's going to be very shiny by the end of this afternoon but for me that's really really good my face loves that my skin loves that so i'm quickly going to jump into the shower um so going in with the neutrogena purifying boost the detoxifier hydrogel recovery mask Ice oils dripping from the skin from the mask, and it's two separate halves, so you do. One section first and then the other one later. So you must. Oh, plastic film. Ciao. It's not all over your mouth. Oh, so cooling. Yay. So we loaded it's now ten o'clock. So ten thirty no it's ten fifteen so ten thirty ten forty five that's when I'll take it off and I'm going to like do the rest of my skin now. I mean the rest of my body apply whatever while I have this on my face. It's moving. Don't move, just chill. Yeah, and then that's basically that. See a little bit there. I'm not just gonna like the face to move. I went in again with the argan oil and now I'm just gonna put Yeah, and I'm wearing my towel dress that I got from my mom. So some sunscreen even though I'm not gonna go out of the house. <sighs> yeah, I'm done. My feet feel so good.